Hey guys, Christine here, finally ready to play the Lego Movie video game. I did buy it on PS4 initially, and thanks to the share button being such a pain on the PS4 and uh, not being able to record, um, I went back and bought the game on PS3. So that's what you're seeing now, me playing on PS3. Uh, I had started on PS4, but oh well. Starting over now on PS3. Um, I, I've already seen the beginning of the game once, but Hey, who cares? I'll watch it again. Um, the first part has several clips from the movie, which is actually kind of cool. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and collect some uh, studs and get rid of these robots real fast. Like I said, I've already played this part once, so sorry if it seems like I've, I've seen this before. I, I have. <laughs> But, uh, maybe before, like, the Lego Hobbit game comes out, um, I can find a way to record on PS4, or maybe they'll fix it, I doubt it, but who knows. Let me just completely ignore the fact that there's a laser pointing at me. But anyway, let's go ahead and, well, I was going to collect those studs. Ah, uh, Lord Business, thwarting all my plans. Uh, I guess I'll build something. It's only kind of, you know, what you do with Legos. <laughs> uh, you know, it's kind of funny that uh, you have to use particular characters. Like, only girls can jump or jump high. That makes absolutely no sense, Lego. None. I mean, it's not like it's a big deal. It just makes no sense. <laughs> but, I, I mean, I'm not complaining. I like the LEGO games. I've played most of them. Um, but, let's see. What, uh, let, yeah, just kick some more robots over here. They, it's not like they're hard to fight. They just get annoying. I just want them out of the way. It's kind of odd you start out playing this game with, like, Cleopatra and Shakespeare, and I mean, Vitruvius makes perfect sense, but let's just have some other random master builders in there. That's fine. You know, no problem. And and it doesn't cause Shakespeare any problems at all that he's carrying the skull always. I mean, I, I guess the Craggle has attached it to his hand because it's amazing that he doesn't drop that skull. Build another rocket! Well, yeah. Pretty sure. Yep. Oh, Lord Business, if you only knew my plans, you'd probably send some more robots over here. Or maybe two lasers at the same time. Make it a challenge, Lord Business. Come on. <laughs> I like taunting Lord Business. It's kind of fun. I mean, not that it makes any difference in the game whatsoever. But, it, you know, it's, it's fun for me. <laughs> Let me just have Cleopatra build all of this for Vitruvius, and she just kind of hops out of the way. <laughs> uh, here's totally, totally a scene from the movie. The <laughs> I love how his legs just kind of grow. I guess he has a real problem with being short. I understand though, because I'm pretty short. I used to wear heels. Totally understand that, Lord Business. Half <laughs> <laughs> Vitruvius looks funny. One day, a talented <laughs> I like this part in the movie. Of we'll make and the I, I'm hoping that I'm not going to ruin any uh, buddy's experience watching the movie if you haven't seen it already. Um, probably, if you haven't seen it, you're probably not watching this video because you probably know that there's going to be some stuff that's going to ruin it. Um, but I, I'm gonna say it anyway. I like this because it's really funny that he's just totally making this all up on the spot. I also really liked how <laughs> Lord Business just kind of kicked him over the edge right there. Oh yay, a loading screen. <laughs> oh well, at least we get to go to Bricksburg. Oh. How many people get really, really annoyed at the loading screens? I will say this, for those of you who do get to play it on PS4, it is so, so, so much faster on the PS4. You do not have these loading screens like this. It is 
way, way, way more fun to play because because you don't have to just sit here and look at this forever, um, like you do on PS3, like I'm having to do right now. Um, so I, I'm sorry, guys. I know this is boring for you watching a loading screen, but I can't do much about it. Um, but maybe we'll get to the game here in a second. Maybe. Well, oh, here we go. Ah, that's really, really close on his face. But another clip from the movie. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in his room. I wish they would have made Emmett's room as a set in Lego. I think that would have been really, really cool. But there's probably too much stuff in there. Oh well. I have that piece. <laughs> I love the shark eating the guy. And it's like, and always be happy. <laughs> Eve, can't forget that one. And wake up and say, good morning, city. <laughs> Uh, everybody just saying good morning. It's kind of funny. Like they don't even realize how hey, under on, control guys. they are. Oh well. Studs! Oh yay, I get to drive his car. <laughs> it, it looks like a little clown car to me. I collect a bunch of studs. I just run over everything. I didn't really mean to, well, run over her twice now. But let's just see how many studs we can collect. Hey look, there was the ice cream truck. Uh, yep, right there, ice cream truck. <laughs> Camera kinda switched around on me there. I got lost for a second. Well, I guess we can go where we're supposed to now. Emmett's gonna be Mr. Fix-It. <laughs> Come on, Emmett. Faster. Mush. <laughs> okay. We actually get to start a level now, maybe? Oh, nope. Loading screen. Yay! Everybody wants to see more loading screens. We just can't get enough of that, right? I wonder how long this one's gonna be. But at least, you know, this is starting a level, I think. Um, you know, I like actually playing the level rather than just running around doing nothing. But, oh man, I really, really, really wish I could play on PS4 and not have to deal with these awful loading screens. I will find a way before I play the Hobbit game. It is going to be on PS4. Oh, thank you. Another clip from the movie. Well, one day I'll get to play the game again. <laughs> Not that the movie clips are bad, but... You know, we'd like to actually play. I like the way the instructions are delivered, though. That was kind of cool, I have to admit. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Let's just destroy everything. This is where you'd like to just randomly have Hulk in this game and just smash stuff. Hulk smash everywhere. That I think that would be great. Um, considering it's the Lego movie and they've made Lego Hulk, why not? Oh, that's right, because that's from Marvel. Shh. Don't talk about that, right? <laughs> anyway, I know some of you get that joke, so you don't. If you didn't get it, just ignore it. No problem. There's no one of those only girls can jump moments. <laughs> I don't believe that at all, but oh well. Let's build something. Uh, I don't think I should have went that way. Nope. Let's go this way. Okay. Build a porch. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's kind of a interesting way to build. It builds the majority of it for you, and you pick like one piece. Now that is ah. one porch. Okay. Not a brick out of place. okay. Well, I guess that's you know kind of a, a good deal with these because, I mean, these construction workers are not supposed to 
be master builders right now necessarily. So I guess that makes sense if you have to use the instructions. Um, you know, the way the game and the movie's laid out anyway. Wow, I can't believe I'm already almost 10 minutes into this. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one off and join me next time for part two of the Lego Movie video game.